Small Vessel Sea Service Form. Section 1, Applicant Information. Complete one form per vessel. So every unique vessel with its unique official number or state registration number needs its own form. Let's look at this form. The first box here is last name, Smith, first name, Neil, middle, M, reference number. For an original applicant, you will have no reference number. If this is a renewal, upgrade, or increase in scope, you will have a reference number. Social security, it's usually in this format, right? Three characters, two characters, four characters. Good. Vessel name. Let's use the vessel First Lady. This was a 26 foot Chris Craft Capri sailboat. Now official number or state registration number. If your vessel is documented, you will have an official number. If it's not documented, you will have a state registration number. I'm in Michigan. All of our boats start with MC and then there's a space and then you'll have four numbers and then two letters. So MC, one, two, three, four, ZZ. Now here's the part that confuses some people. Vessel gross tons. Most people don't know, so it's unknown. I just talked to the Coast Guard about this and I'm going to describe the minimum requirement here for this not to get kicked back. And then if you wanna really go into this in depth, you can watch the video on calculating gross tonnage. Vessel length, this vessel was 26 feet six inches <clears throat> now width if known depth if known so if i leave those blank i don't know the vessel gross tonnage and i just say the length was 26 feet and the inches was six inches so with this registration number the coast guard can they'll know about the length with depth and they can calculate the gross tonnage of this vessel now propulsion this was a sail vessel right sail and now I served as the operator. And the name of the body of water I was on was the Great Lakes. So let's back up here a second, go back to propulsion. If you just have a regular um, motor boat, you know, power boat, this is a self propelled vessel. So it, you would say motor right here. You could type motor if you just had a regular runabout motorboat. Not many people use steam anymore. Not many people have gas turbines. And if it was a sailboat, you can put sail or you can put auxiliary sail and serve as, if you already have a license, you're able to serve as the master. Be careful putting mate down here because some mates are in licensed. They have to be licensed to be a mate on that vessel. So. If you do not have a license yet, and this is original, you're best off putting operator if it was your vessel, or if you're just working on a boat without a license, deckhand, right? So this boat I own first lady, I was the operator of this vessel. And the name of bodies of water upon which the vessel was underway, geographic location. They're really looking for four specific four specific bodies of water, right? The Great Lakes, inland waters, western rivers, or near coastal waters. You don't need to go putting the southwest side of Mud Lake. It's That's not what they're looking for. If you were in an inland lake this whole time, they want inland waters. If you were on the Great Lakes, they want Great Lakes. If you were on near coastal waters, which are defined as three miles offshore or seaward of the demarcation line, then it would be near coastal waters. So that's a quick rundown of section one application information.